Hey, it's Professor Josh. Welcome back for another video. Got some fun things in store. I'm going to try some Pez, Funko Pez Chase Roulette um, to start off. And then we have a boom box, a boom box, all kinds of fun boom box hit or miss boxes. So stick around. Alright, so this is my first time playing Chase Roulette with Pez. I know, I had hot cashews, hot topic. There's a couple Pez that have chases, so we're going to see what we can get, what we can find out of them. I don't know. I haven't done this before. Hopefully they're in sorters. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just in here. I'll start opening stuff up. I got a couple other things in this order too, so I'll show you what I got. So let's open this up. Like I said, had some hot cash to use. Thought this would be fun, and you know, I like a good chase. It could be a Pez. I like good chases, so let's find out. All right, so it looks like it's, good thing is, I don't see what it is, right? You don't know. So, uh, let's open it up. Okay, so I do see some, and others are in sorter. So I'll try to be good about it. Try not to look. Um, so the one I see, I do see is Merman. He-Man. Um, so there is a chase with him. So we'll see if we got that. Ready? Well, I should have five of these. Five of each. So one, two, three. Looks like, uh, it just looks like the regular one. So he's green. I think the chase is blue. So if I'm right. So we have one green one just to kick it off. Got some Pez. Got some Merman. Uh, I haven't tried these before. So like I said, I don't know. Was this a bad idea? A good idea? Who knows? All right, so I got another one here. I'm not going to try to look at it because they're not in any kind of sorter, just in a bag. But it looks like, oh, we got another common one. So it's okay. Like I said, trying this out. And one in six chance still, I think. Pez is the same, one in six. So the other ones look like they're in sorter, so, so that's good. But so far, the merman have been just open. Which I don't know if good or bad. One, two, three. Ah, another common. Who needs a merman pet? Let me know. All right. Got one here. One, two, three. Ah, all right. We got four commons so far. We're not doing good on chase roulette with pezzes so far. Oh, uh, merman. I don't know. I don't like that they're not in sorters. I never like that, but we've got one more to try. I haven't seen it. I can just feel it. One, two, three. Oh, we got the chase. The blue chase. I have no idea what the chases that are in the regular ones are worth. Um, I know they were like, what, $6 something. So really with uh, hot cash, probably about $4, something like that. So buying them for $4, worth the chance, try. I'm not a huge Pez collector, but we'll go ahead and look up Merman Pez. So Merman um, from He-Man, and we're gonna go Chase. So the regular one is $8 from Funko. So it's worth about, you know, the cost of it's about $7. So, um, but the Chase is worth $21. So the Chase itself probably paid for all five. So that's nice. So cool, got my first Chase Pez pull out of Chase Roulette. So never tried that before. I do have other ones. So it looks like I have several others. I have the five other ones that are in sorters. So that's cool. And then I did pick up something else. So I got this actually. So I got a vinyl. It was on sale. Plus I had my hot cash. It is Pampero and Ch Chitara. Chitara. I don't know why I can't say that right. Chitara from Thundercat. So it's cool vinyl. Um, definitely watched Thundercats growing up. Definitely a cool cartoon. If you haven't checked it out, check out Thundercats Classic. Very cool one. So I picked up the vinyl, thought it was fun. Um, and now we got some fun, more Chase Roulette. This time, Captain Crunch. And they're all in sorters, which I'm nice. I don't think I've ever seen Pez sorters. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad they're, these ones are in sorters. Have no idea why the Merman ones weren't. So let's try them out. One, two, three. Ah, so the regular one. 
So kind of cool, it has a little piece in here to keep it safe and not get smushed. Kind of like that, it has a little piece of cardboard in the top, keep it not getting smushed, but this is the regular one, just blue, and a normal Captain Crunch looking blue and yellow. I think the chase is that black and white. So we'll see if we got a chase somewhere in here. So, all right. So I got another one here. All right, ready? One, two, three. Um, no, regular one. Nothing special about it. All right, so, so far, 0 and 2 on the captain. Will it be like Merman? Will we get one? Will we get none? I don't know. All right, let's go one, two, three. Ugh, upside down again. Yeah, just a regular. Come on, captain. Need some Captain Crunch here. We're, we got three regulars. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Four regulars, not doing good. Four regulars. All right, my last one. Hopefully I get that chase. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these beds. Great giveaway, something like that. All right, ready? One, two, three. No black and white chase for the captain. All sorters, no chases. So I guess we did better when they weren't in sorters. At least we got one. We got one with the merman, and we got none with these. So, ah, we tried. Had some fun. I probably won't do Pez Chase Roulette again, because I'm not a big Pez collector myself. So now I have a ton of Pez um, that probably I'll do some cool giveaway. So watch out on my Instagram if you haven't followed it before, at Professor Josh, and see what I do for some giveaways, some Pez giveaways. Maybe I'll have a two-pack of Pez for you. If you comment below in this video, what do you need to comment? Hashtag Pez. And then I'll randomly pick one um, on my Instagram, someone that's here. So pay attention to my Instagram. Someone that comments hashtag Pez in the next week, I'll go ahead and pick someone to receive one of each of the Pez, Merman and Captain Crunch. So let's see some hashtag Pez. All right. So this is Boom Loop. This is hit or miss boxes, so I'm guessing they're separate boxes inside. Um, we'll check them out. Usually that's how it works with Boom Loop. Um, usually do separate boxes, and this is hit or miss. So these are six different boxes. Um, hit or miss. I uh, never know how this is going to turn out. But yeah, it got some nice branded boxes, some good looking boxes here. I don't know if I can tell one heavier than the other, maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and try to open them. We'll kind of look at value of each as we go along. We'll see what we got. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh, cool. So from Clockwork Orange, Alex DeLarge. Um, this is the regular. Is it missing the Hot Topic sticker or is this not a Hot Topic? So this is 2016. Pop. Um, kind of cool. I know there's a Hot Topic one. I'm thinking there's a mask one. I actually believe I have the mask one. I don't know if I have this one, actually. So let's see what this is going for. How much do you think it's worth? $27. So I say that's a hit out of this box. Like I said, these are hit or miss boxes. I believe something like $15, $20 each, something like that. I think $15 each plus shipping for the whole box. So... That's not bad. $27 means we got one hit. So that's good. I like that. Um, I don't know how big of hits we're going to get from this. So I got them some good stuff from Boom Loop before. So check out their boxes on Monday night. Which, dropping this video on Monday. So you can check out their boxes. Same time I go live at 9.30. So this week at 9.30 um, Eastern, um, Boom Loop goes live with their boxes. Same time I go live on YouTube. Um, and this week we're going live with Geeky Mama Bear. So check it out. We're going to talk about Marvel and how to collect without over collecting with Marvel. Uh, I'm still trying to do that. All right, ready? One, two, three. Uh, oh, nice. 
I like this one. This one's going to go up. Even if this value's not up there, up there right now, I feel this one's going to keep going up. So, Soka. Um, number what, 268? I don't think, this isn't like an exclusive one, but I like this one a lot. I believe this one's going to go up in value with the new Mandalorian, if the rumors are true. We're coming in at 26 bucks. So 27 and 26 bucks means we've had two hits so far. Um, I've been happy with the hits so far. Both are good pops and definitely keepers in my book. All right. Mm, this one has a little crunch to it. Hopefully it's okay. All right. What do you think? Hit or miss? Hit or miss? I'm going miss this time. Oh, what? It might be a hit. Oh, I like this one. I like my Freddy's. I don't know if you guys like some Freddy's too, but I like Freddy Funkos. So definitely comment below if you're a Freddy fan. Let me know. Um, this is awesome. Spring convention, 3000 piece, Freddy Funko. The baseball uniform. I believe I have this one already. Um, maybe I even have the con sticker instead. Um, maybe. But I'm thinking this one is a hit again. So I don't know if we've gotten lucky with all hits. But $37 now. $37. A nice Freddy Funko. Um, so do we have any more? Did I just like get hits out of all these boxes? Did I look at this wrong? Is it maybe just a hit box? And maybe not a miss? I don't know, but you did great so far. All right, ready? One, two, three. Wah! Oh, nice. So this one's nice. I do have this one already. Um, I actually have the, the Star Wars, um, the, the actual con sticker for this one. But this is the Galactic Convention sticker with concept series Darth Vader, which I think is a really good looking pop, actually. So kind of like, it's like a blue tint to them. I don't even know what this one's going for. I know it went up, went crazy, went down. It's going to be hard because it's going to probably show the con sticker. It says $40. I'm thinking probably more like that $30 range with this sticker. Um, I'm not going to look up PPG because still into my book, this is still a good hit. I mean, even the six boxes, I keep pulling stuff like this. I'm going to be very happy with this. I definitely will have made out in value because I think I'm already over value already. So even if these two are misses, I got my value already back in these boxes. Um, so one, two, three. Oh, wait, another. Oh, nice sticker. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this sticker. This is an awesome sticker. It's a box lunch exclusive, but it says Toy Story Land Grand Opening 2018. I don't remember ever seeing this sticker. The Army Man, he's like metallic. I wonder, hmm, Toy Story Land, I've been there at Hollywood Studios and uh, here in Orlando, but I don't know if I've ever seen this sticker before. I don't know if all of them have it. I think so. He's only coming at 15 bucks. It's a miss, but it's a really cool box with a sticker I've never seen before. Um, definitely a nice one to have in the collection. Even at 15 bucks, he's still coming in at value. It's not really like a big miss. Um, right about that value. So, we got one more box. Let's go for a hit. Another hit. I want a big hit this time. $50 hit. Come on, something. What do you think? One, two, three. Oh, oh, it's Millhouse. Um, probably a miss because the Spring Convention Millhouse. Um, I have several of these, I think, already. Um, I picked them up. I thought they would like go crazy for them because it's the first time Millhouse has been in the collection. I thought people would go crazy for them when they came out. Um, won't have the con sticker, so it's going to be less. It says 24 with the con sticker. It's probably more like 15 I mean, it cost about $15, so $15 to $20. So these are probably our two misses, and the rest, the other four were hits. So we probably have two misses here, the, the $15 mark, but even the misses are, like, on point. So that's 30 90 yeah. We're, like, uh, whew, I'll have to show you the value above, but definitely for the cost of the box, even with shipping, we came out ahead with Boom Loop. So... 
great box, all kinds of good things. I'm curious about like maybe what your favorites were from this box. Was it, you know, Army Man's cool. Metallic Army Man, he's not huge value. Definitely this is the one to add to your collection. If you haven't added it, it's going to go up soon. So grab it now. This is going to be probably a $50, $60 pop in, I give it a month or so. Um, depending on when she shows up in the new Mandalorian series. Um, this one is a good one to have and keep. Uh, I could see this one being harder and harder to get. Um, they did do a restock recently of the Hot Topic one. But, you know, that's a so I'm a Simpsons fan. I don't know about you, but Millhouse is a cool one to keep. Um, not a huge value, I think, but it will go up over time because probably the only Millhouse they're going to release for a while. So keep an eye out for that as these disappear from like Box Lunch, Harder to Find. That was where the shared was. Um, this one definitely, I think, will go up. Um, it's a really cool Darth Vader. Still looking for Boba Fett. That's one I have not got a con sticker or a regular sticker. Everything else I got the con sticker. I haven't got any Boba Fett. I know it's going crazy. Prices are going crazy on that. Hopefully it'll settle down, but they might just keep going up. And then, of course, any Freddy fans out there? Who's a Freddy fan? I'm a Freddy fan, definitely. Freddy Funko, 3,000 piece. I love that it's a limited piece. It's a cool looking baseball piece. It's kind of a little bit action pose, like holding the ball with the bat behind him. Um, so some good pieces, man. And then, of course, you know, we got lucky with only one Chase Pez. But remember, look early in the video if you skipped ahead and missed the keyword um, that you need to post below for your chance to win a Pez, two Pezes, a Merman and a Captain Crunch Pez. As long as you're in the U.S., I'll send it to you for free. If you're outside the U.S., I don't know if you want to pay for two Pezes to be sent to you. Um, but let me know. I'll cover a little bit of the, the $5, $6 shipping um, that usually is. So let me know in the comments. Um, and then check out my Instagram and follow along. Make sure you are following that because, you know, that's where I usually post my giveaways and my winners. I try to let you know here also back on the video on the comments. So love commenting. Love seeing what you guys are up to. Always enjoy. And don't forget, on Monday nights, I'm live. Almost always live. 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, this week, Geeky Mama Bear is joining me. We're talking Marvel. Some great things with Marvel. How to collect. What's our favorite thing to collect? You know, how do you keep Marvel? Because it's so many different lines. I know. My, my room's starting to be surrounded with it more and more. Um, so, you know, thinking about that kind of thing. And then... Um, you know, we always have some fun on some lives. You find out some great tips, some ideas, and then maybe I'll have some mail call too. Um, stacking up the mailboxes. So definitely need to do some mail call with you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you had some fun. If you haven't already done, hit that like button. Um, always appreciate that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, so you know when I drop my next video. And then come back and see us. And don't forget to set that reminder. It's right in my channel. That's a reminder for the live. So every time I'll post that a couple of days before, um, you can hit that reminder for that live. And then you'll remember, come back to see us on Monday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you next time. Have a good one, everyone.